tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello, today I want to show you something uh, uh, concerning the soft body dynamics. When you go to FX here, rather than to animation or whatever, FX, you find N particles here. And the N particle menu is quite long, and all the way down you have soft body. That's the legacy part of the dynamic system here in Maya. The more advanced one is because it includes a nucleus which enables you to interactively combine soft bodies, for example, so they can collide, feel each other. So this is the one we're going to use. And uh, we're going to use the option box later. But first of all, we need a geometry in order to use this command. Um, we can use any kind of geometry. And I go for a NURBS plane in this case. If you don't see the attribute editor here, you press Ctrl A. And uh, here you find the Make NURBS Plane tab, which enables you to easily modify the things, the basic settings here, the width, for example, and the patches. And we need patches, quite a, quite a few, in order to make this a really nice soft body uh, in just a couple of minutes. So we rotate it a little bit to move it up and press the key F so we frame it nicely so we can look around and everything is good. Now with this object selected here we go to end particles and we create a soft body now. We need to use the option box and the option box in my case is set to creation options. Duplicate make the copy soft. So we're gonna duplicate this one and make the copy soft and then we hide the non-soft body, that's that one, and we make the non-soft a goal. Uh, that means the soft body will try to come back to the old position of the hard shell here, with a weight of 0 0.5, as opposed to a weight of, say, 1, where it would totally stick to the original object. When we move it, the soft body will always follow. When we set the weight to 0, the softbody won't care at all about the original geometry it was made of. So this is a good compromise and you can al always change this and I made several tutorials about soft softbody dynamics but not about this specific aspect here. So we apply this now we have a softbody here. Let's have a look at the nodes. We have um, the NURBS plane which is hidden which is the basic uh, object we have. Then we have a group here, and uh, it's called copy of NURBS plane. Uh, and the copy of NURBS plane particle system is underneath that group. You can see it here. Every CV in the geometry was turned into a tiny particle, which you see in white here. And this is the nucleus, which provides the dynamic uh, root system here. For example, the gravity and uh, the resilience and etc and the collision of two objects for example or more objects or this the collision with n cloth uh, would be possible here but what i want to show you is this we want to um, use the interactive playback and you find that under the tab fx you probably find it somewhere else as well but uh, this is the way i use uh, usually choose it it's this icon here and in order to really enjoy playing with it, uh, extend the frame range to, say, 1000. And now we'll select the original plane here, which we don't see, which sits somewhere there here, and choose the interactive playback. The timeline starts to work now, and we can move this object here. And you see this wobbling because the soft body always tries to find the way back to the original. When we rotate it, it's the same effect. What you see is that the whole plane wobbles. All the particles have the same goal weight of 
0 0.5. That's the weight we set at the very beginning. Now let's go back to the very beginning of our simulation. So we see this object here. Now select the copy of NURBS plane here in this case and then go to N particles and soft body weights tool. The paint soft body weights tool. We're going to paint attributes now on this object here. And you currently see that it's an X when you hover the mouse over it. And uh, I actually don't know the reason for that, but um, I sometimes have to reselect the object here and then I open the tool settings again until I get a proper paintbrush here. So uh, what we're going to do now, let's reset the tool. Uh, when you paint in the replace mode, that means all the white here is going to be replaced by currently white because the right uh, slider position means white. Whereas the black, uh, that's the black one, value of zero. It's the goal weight, basically. So uh, let's use a, a rather, rather dark value here. And let's paint these things right here, for example, here. We can always, when you hover the mouse over the object here, uh, and press and hold the key B for brush, you can make the brush bigger or smaller. For example, we can make it bigger and go to smooth now. And we just smooth this so it gets a little bit more white here in the middle. And we smooth the sides as well. Now we can close this tool here and we go back to our original geometry. Now. Uh, when you run the simulation again, you see these deformations. And when you go to the interactive playback, you need to select the hidden one because that's our goal. That's the, uh, that's the goal for the soft bodies. Uh, and you want to manipulate that. Use W or the E key in order to get to the rotation translation tool. Go to the very beginning of the simulation and then press this icon. Now you can move this back and forth, for example, and you see the wobbling, which is quite different now from the very beginning because we painted the goal weights there. And that's basically all I wanted to show you. It is a painting per particle and you can use the interactive playback in order to try out these simulations here in real time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.